amazing to think that we're here and about to celebrate the journey of all these kids, some of whom have been with us since pre-K for seven years. When I was sitting here after they did their sound check and talking to the kids, I said to them, when you're sitting here and when you're going through this, stay in the moment, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Um, support your friends, and even when you're standing up on stage and you're feeling completely embarrassed because everyone's looking at you, savor the moment. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce our fifth graders. Don't they look good? I saw them this morning and wondered, who are these kids? That will be the first of many rounds of applause. So, before we, we move on, I do want to take a moment. This is a little bittersweet today because we actually always say goodbye to some families who have kids up here but have been part of the lower school for an even longer period of time as they've had multiple kids pass through the lower school coming at different times. And I just want to acknowledge those families. The Brodies, the Lobelies, Henrys, Schumer, Schumer, Jacoby, Perez, Vasquez, Viscardo, and Wilner. Can we have a round of applause for all of them? To all those families, you're welcome to come down here and vent next year if you need to. Um, I'm going to introduce now our head of school, Michael Turner, and I've decided that due to COVID and everything that's happened since he's been here, next year will be his official first year at Shipley, but he is here to say a few words. for this. Uh, it looks great today, right? but there is a long journey um, for producing a, a fifth grade graduate. All right? That's parents, that's grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, older siblings, younger siblings, then too. Um, parents and teachers, um, art teachers, music teachers, gym teachers, classroom teachers. Um, it's been a lot of folks, I'm going to speak to the students for a minute. There are a lot of people who've done a lot of work and poured a lot of love into all of you. Right, to put you up on that, uh, that stand today. Um, and what I would encourage you to do is just take a minute, as Dr. Lightman said um, to your families a moment, and drink this in. Look out at the people who are here for you and think about, even just as important, the people who aren't here today. Right? All of those people who poured all that love and care into you to get you to this point in your life. Right? It's a big day. It's a wonderful day. And I will say this without hyperbole, I'm not sure that Shipley has ever produced a more prepared fifth grade than this group. What you've handled is... <laughs> it's only my first year, so I don't have any perspective. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what you've handled over the last couple of years um, with COVID and all the changes, uh, some of you in your first year here, like, like, like me and our family, right? Not really getting to see Shipley in normal times. Some of you who've been here for seven years, that's a lifetime for some people. Right? But what you've handled over the last couple years, and most importantly, how you've handled it, and how you've handled it, and how you've handled it, and you've handled it, is about the best lesson anyone in any time Today, a couple of years ago, generations ago, could ever ask the best lesson anybody could ever ask for to prepare you for life. And when you think back on this time right, on the, in lower school, whether it was just this year or seven years worth of time here, 
Um, I would encourage you to think about not all those trials and tribulations of which you have had many. Right? Not all the late homeworks and the projects that took you a little longer than you thought they were going to. I would ask you to think about all those people who you're looking out at, all those people who aren't here, who supported you, and each other. Right? Think about all of the love, all of the care that's been poured into you, right? because that's what matters. That's what's prepared you most to go into middle school and beyond, whether it's here, just on the other campus, or someplace else. Right? You are incredibly well prepared. You do look awesome. <laughs> and you've had a great year. So on behalf of the entire Shipley community, congratulations, well done, and have a great summer. Can I have our student council members come up? student council member from 5L. I've been here since pre-K and I've had been I've been through a lot throughout during these seven years. For example, in kindergarten I moved to a different house and I focused on school, but like my classmates, I was too young to really worry about it. In third and fourth grade we got hit by the pandemic and we all had to do online school and follow COVID protocols. But here we are now back together again as a community and about to graduate lower school. As we end our last year as leaders of the lower school, we would like to pause and reflect on our time here. The friends we've made, the obstacles we have overcome, and the heights we've reached. My favorite personal memory of the lower school was Bagels and Bios. Bagels and Bios might not be others' favorites, but I liked it because I had a fun time learning about Malala and Sasha. And I realized that when you can do anything, no matter what pushes you back. I've gone through the ups and downs of my friendships, but I've found Shipley to be the best community to be a part of. Not many of us have been here since pre-K, but those who have, they've seen every change of the school. From changing the teachers and playgrounds and the curriculum, to building a new playground. And of course, to the pandemic, we had to live through the year when we couldn't hang out with our friends. And we had to have our lunch brought to our classrooms. <laughs> but here we are, back to normal, like we were 1,170,592 minutes ago. That was March 12th, the day school got canceled. Before I pass the mic off to Maya and Jack, I want to thank the school and my classmates for allowing us to be student council representatives and for the opportunity to stand here and to talk to all of you. Hello, my name is Maya. We have surveyed the entire fifth grade on some topics that the fifth grade student council has chosen. We chose five topics. Number one, everyone's favorite language arts book that we read this year. Number two, everyone's favorite academic. Number three, the, our favorite art projects that we have done this year. Number four, everyone's favorite sport. And number five, everyone's favorite special. The most liked LA book was Lucky Broken Girl. 17 out of 39 fifth graders voted for Lucky Broken Girl. That's around half of the fifth graders. Lucky Broken Girl was a very interesting book about a girl named Ruthie who immigrated from Cuba and shortly after got a body cast from chest to toes from a car accident. 11 people liked Bud Not Buddy. The most, nine people liked Esperanza Rising and only two people liked Home of the Brave. Survey number two was about what people's favorite academic subject was. People like language arts and the, the most because we, read, we did reading peacefully and did fun projects. Language arts got 16 votes. Many people enjoyed social studies and had fun learning about civilizations. We did a lot of projects. Math came in third with seven votes. <laughs> Interestingly, some people liked writing. Writing came in last, though, with two points. <laughs> Language arts won the most votes after or before social studies. Survey number three was about what your favorite art project was in the fifth grade. There was a clear winner in this category. 25 people voted for the wire project that we just finished up. 
It is on display in the entrance to Shipley near the front desk. We were able to make a project with wire fi figures and other interesting things, including shaving cream and glue and hot glue and cardboard. Clay shoes came in second place. The clay shoes were made out of clay, obviously. The clay shoes are able to have many accessories and are very impressive. Three people liked our amazing tinfoil projects the most. They liked the bending of the tinfoil and the real life figures they could make. One person voted for the first project we did, the beechwood painting, and another person voted for the cardboard masks we made. The wire project was definitely the most liked art project throughout the fifth grade. Survey number four is about everyone's favorite sport. This was a tough question because so many people had lots of different opinions on their favorite sport. It is mostly basketball and baseball with five votes each. Other than that, it was all spread out, like ice hockey, ice skating, running, lacrosse. We also interviewed people about their favorite special. The most liked special was PE. PE is super fun, from tag games to sports. Most people look forward to these fun activities to get their energy out. PE had 18 votes, art had 16, and it was very close to PE. Everyone liked art because of its fun projects. We did many amazing projects. Library had five votes and is very calm and relaxing for fifth graders, especially since we're doing a lot of projects and we only have a library once in every two weeks. Science can be clarified as a subject or social, but in this case, it is special. One person voted for science. These are the five questions we asked to the fifth grade students. They were very interesting questions for the fifth graders to answer. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jack Lee, and this year we have learned a lot of new things. Some easy, some more difficult, but we were able to persevere and learn a lot. In math, we have done standard form, word form, expanded form, place value estimation, Comparing numbers, rounding, multiplying, dividing, adding fractions, subtracting fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, and adding mixed numbers, subtracting mixed numbers, multiplying and dividing mixed numbers, ratios, adding decimals, subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals, <laughs> dividing decimals, triangles, line blocks, corner planes, and can't forget our favorite. Real world word problems with the best stretch, bar model. That's it for me. <laughs> In social studies, we learned about ancient China, India, Mesopotamia, and Egypt. In language arts, we read Lucky Broken Girl, But Not Buddy, Home with the Brave, and Esperanza Red. While reading these, we marked some important signs called Notice and Note Sign Notes, such as memory moments, again and again, words of the wisers, contrasts and contradictions, aha moments, and tough questions. These helped us really learn about the plot, character development, etc. Looking back, we've learned a lot of things that will help us in the future. I also want to thank the teachers for helping us this year and putting up with us. Hi, I'm Emery Cooper and I'm a student council member from 5SH, or Hall Fives. This was my first year at Shipley and my experience was incredible. This year has been full of differences which changed us in many ways. We learned about many things that helped us grow. From people's seventh year to people's first year, we all learned something about ourselves and each other. As a new Shipley student coming into the school, I didn't have many friends, but the kindness of everyone around me, I made them quickly. The people here have hearts that stretch a mile. I learned about friendship and how different people are. I faced many challenges this year, but I knew I could count on my friends. I learned that you have to stay true to yourself. Besides myself, the rest of fifth grade has been learning about themselves too. At the beginning of the year, a lot of kids were not excited about math, including me. But they were, but they got so much better this year. Last year, I was really bad at math, and I was afraid of it. But this year, I strived and I graded through. The kids in fifth grade have worked so hard this year, striving for their goals. Most of them were reached. We became more curious about our identities and our true selves. Our identities prove who we are and that we can be anyone we want. We can be small, we can be tall, but we have to think. Am I being me? Am I being true? Do I know who I want to be? Am I doing the right thing? We have to let our curiosities venture to the great unknown. We can learn how we want, but the one thing that we have to do to do these things is to try. Keep going, keep pushing, and you will achieve the greatest thing, happiness. Hello, I am Liam Manapur, a fifth 
grade student. In this time of moving on, we also have to remember, remember the memories we made here in the lower school. Whether it was learning your times tables, or scoring your first goal, or even learning to read, everyone has made their own memories in the lower school. But since we are moving on, I asked some fifth graders about things they'll miss about the lower school. I found out they'll miss the great teachers and little amounts of homework. On the other end of the spectrum, I asked students what they'll look forward to in the middle school. They answered very, very fun. Looking forward to the sport, sports program, switching classes on the daily and the teacher. And as we wrap up our elementary experience on the campus we all love, I want to thank a few people who made this journey possible. To our many families, thank you for all your love and encouragement and even sending us to Chipotle. Our teachers who made this journey who made this journey easier and a whole lot more enjoyable. And Dr. Lightman, who gave us support the whole way. when the leaves turn red, orange, and yellow next September, we keep the memories, lessons, and love that the lower school will be served upon us. And go into next year with courage for the deed and grace for the doing, like the true gators we all are. Good morning, everyone. My name is Carlos Casilla. I'm the director of choirs here at the Shipley School. Uh, the fifth grade choir is going to perform a piece for you. It's called Like an Eagle. Um, it was really interesting when we were learning it. Uh, a couple of them were like, wait, hold on. So we are singing for ourselves at our own fifth grade moving on ceremony? I was like, the answer is yes. You are singing for yourself because it's a culmination of your journey here at the lower school. Uh, and we all hope that you enjoy Like an Eagle.
Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Ms. Hall. I'm a fifth grade teacher. Before I say a few words, can we just give a big thank you to Ms. Crumble Wiley and Mr. Casilla? They work so hard. So hello, families, grown-ups. How are you doing? Um, I would love to welcome you here. It's so nice to see everyone in person. Um, I'm actually not talking to any of you today. I am talking to the fifth graders today. So, yes, you. Fifth grade. This year has been full of ups and downs, mountains and valleys, challenges and successes. But we have learned to persevere, or my favorite word, grit, through it all. Here in the lower school, you have created a strong foundation that will help you as you move on to the middle school. We know how much you are all looking forward to the freedom and the food that next year will bring. But today, we ask you to look back on all you have accomplished. You delved into fractions, decimals, and percents, and fought your way through bar models and tiny Tuesdays. You created stories about getting trapped in a snow globe. You traveled through time to ancient Egypt. You journeyed to California with Esperanza and wrote more essays than you probably would have wanted. You even made your own civilizations from the ground up. Look fondly on the past and your memories of lower school. Treasure the present and look towards the future. Telling futures and fortunes is nothing new. In fact, it is a tale as old as time. From Mesopotamia to China to Egypt, ancient people have pursued the art of divination and fortune telling. From my friends who researched ancient Greece, you may know about the oracles of Delphi. People would travel for days, even weeks, just to seek out counsel and advice from these seers of the future. Lucky, luckily for you fifth graders, you only have to travel a few steps. Today, my friends in fifth grade, I hope you will find your answers to the future. It is my pleasure to introduce you to an oracle far more powerful than the oracles of the ancient past. The oracle of oracles, the prophesizer of prophecy, giving wisdom and guidance for your future. I present the oracle of Shipley. <laughs> Liam Analker. After, wait, Liam, come back here. <laughs> Don't move. After spending the best day of his life at Westwood Ho, playing in the park and eating candy, then making the varsity basketball team as a senior, Liam was worried there'd be nothing left after Shipley. Not to worry, if leadership and love is character strengths, Liam has a bright future. Liam will attend Stanford and move from the court to the booth, turning an internship at ESPN into a full-time position as a play-by-play -play commentator. With a keen mind for sports analysis, Liam will quickly make a name for himself, becoming one of the top pro football commentators in the country. When not covering football, traveling, and attending major sporting events, Liam will spend his time coaching his children's soccer teams and living his motto, work your hardest, be a leader, do what is right, no matter what other people are doing. Cameron Feller. Cameron's motto may be, darkest before the dawn, but for Cameron it's going to be light or day. Excelling at art and loving the makerspace at Chipley, Cameron will go on to USC in their top-ranked gaming design program. With creativity, curiosity, and leadership as character strengths, Cameron will be recruited by Sony to work on their latest version of PlayStation. Leading his own team, Cameron team, Cameron will go on to help develop cutting-edge virtual reality games and software. He will also start a mentorship program working with underprivileged kids and training them in software development and design. When not traveling between the US and Japan,
Cameron will spend time doing art projects with his kids and taking them multiple times to see Hamilton live on Broadway. <laughs> The Oracle sees crowds and the bright lights of Queens in this Shipley student's future. Mm -hmm. After taking Shipley's tennis team to new heights, Sophia will be recruited by a D1 school and play in the NCAA National Championships. Following her motto, when you fall, get back up and try it again, Sophia will join the pro circuit. In her first year, she'll make it to the quarterfinals as an unranked player at the US Open, becoming a fan favorite. This will lead to a successful career, including many more Grand Slam opportunities. With love, gratitude, fairness, and teamwork as character strengths, Sophia will open a nonprofit after school program, a tennis clinic for girls. When not working, Sophia will spend time with her family and five dogs, traveling around the world and filling up the marble jar whenever they do a good deed. Drawing on our character strengths of creativity, curiosity, and appreciation of beauty, London will sail through Shipley, reading everything and creating her own mythologies. At UPenn, London will switch gears and focus on her other love, animals, earning an advanced degree in zoology. Embracing her motto, don't wait for a problem to go away, fight back, and make it go away faster, London will join the Humane Society and within a few years lead their animal rescue team saving unwanted abuse and abandoned animals. Her team will also fly into areas devastated by natural disasters to support local shelters. After sharing her adventures in a viral TED Talk, London will field multiple invitations to speak in schools across the country. She will also spend time with her family and five dogs, sharing her love of Rick Brian fantasies. Following his motto, your biggest competition is yourself, Solomon will star on Shipley's varsity basketball team and be recruited by UCLA. With humor, gratitude, bravery, and kindness as character strengths, Solomon will be beloved by his teammates, while his ferocious defense will make him a fan favorite and March Madness standout. Leaving college, Solomon will hang up his sneakers and land a job at the Cartoon Network. Quickly working his way up, Solomon will become head of the animation concept department, creating award-winning TV shows and movies that are entertaining, feature diverse characters, and positive messaging. When not creating animated shows and movies, Solomon will spend his time playing the latest version of NBA 2K with friends and family, skydiving, and traveling with family to his second home in Japan. <laughs> Oracle sees an active life ahead for Claire. Following standout seasons on Shipley's varsity lacrosse team, Claire will be recruited by Princeton, starting her freshman year and help lead the team to an NCAA championship. With humility, gratitude, fairness, and humor as character strengths, Claire will be admired by her teammates for her positive attitude, dedication, and teamwork. After hanging up her cleats, Claire will naturally move into coaching, eventually becoming the head coach of Princeton. Her interest in the well-being of her players, as well as their success on the field, will attract the top high school prospects and lead to many winning seasons. When not coaching, Claire will spend time with her family, skydiving, hiking, and mountain climbing. Living her motto, there is no elevator to success, you have to take the stairs. The Oracle sees a future of clothes, horses, and polar bears for Victoria. Following her motto, keep 
Com and Flyer on. Victoria will attend the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York, studying the latest trends. After apprenticing with the top name designer, Victoria will start her own line of hip fashion accessories aimed at the young adult market. With stores in New York, London, Paris, and Philadelphia, Victoria will her dream, achieve her dream of owning not one, but multiple clothing stores. With gratitude, zest, love, and creativity as character strengths, Victoria will spend her free time on her horse farm, raising racehorses, and riding with her children, and faithfully attending Flyers games. After encountering and sharing food with the polar bear on an Arctic expedition, Victoria will start an organization to help save polar bears from extinction. After dividing her time between the playing field and stage at Shipley, Emory will go off to UPenn to study criminal justice with creativity, curiosity, braveness, and bravery and kindness and character strengths. Emory will make a name for herself as an amateur rock climber, embracing her motto, if you don't think you can get to the top, you can't. If you think you can get to the top, you can. Emory will make the US national rock climbing team as a walk-on and compete in the 2032 Olympics. Following her gold medal performance, Emory will become a motivational speaker, and her face will be featured on a box of Wheaties cereal. <laughs> As a side hustle, Emory will use her criminal justice degree to start a popular podcast that helps craft unsolved crimes. She will also scuba dive with her family and work for Habitats for Humanity, building houses for the homeless. The Oracle sees books and more books in Davis's future. Not surprising given his character strengths of creativity, appreciation of beauty, and love of learning. Having discovered a love of reading at the lower school book fair, Davis will hone his skills in the upper school and at UCLA before being recruited by a top publishing house, where he will quickly move up the corporate ladder to become a top editor, specializing in up-and-coming writers. Davis will also write his own short stories, which will be collected into a best-selling anthology. When not writing and reading, Davis will follow his motto, if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough, as he becomes a certified skydiving instructor. Davis will also spend time with his children skateboarding, inventing fidgets, and mastering Rubik's Cubes in just under the minute mark. <laughs> Following her motto, there's life in every step, you just have to search. Carmen is destined to find success in all she does. Leaving Shipley and drawing on her character strengths of perseverance, curiosity, humility, and bravery, Carmen will eventually earn an advanced degree in animal welfare and biology at Stanford. Her research studying local extinction rates of Southern California mountain lions will revolutionize the tracking of large mammals in populated areas. Although she will never figure out how to actually talk to animals, Carmen will have a successful career researching and promoting animal welfare. When not working, Carmen will spend time with her family and three jerk dogs, enjoying life and generating content for their popular TikTok channel, where they perform original songs and choreograph dance routines. <laughs> R.J. Harvey. The Oracle sees baseball, travel, and family in the future for R.J. Not surprising, giving his character strengths of zest, love, spirituality, and gratitude. 
After successful seasons at Shipley and Penn State, RJ will be drafted by the Phillies and become their starting shortstop. Following a successful career on the field, including an MVP and Golden Glove, RJ will hang up his cleats and be offered a position at ESPN. Respected by players and coaches alike for his experience and knowledge, RJ will get lots of scoops, leading to a long career as a respected baseball analysis. RJ will more than live his dream, as he gets to visit and play in every baseball stadium in the country. When not working, RJ will coach his children's sports teams, installing in his players his motto, you have to keep trying until you get what you want to achieve. Marco Henry. Following her motto, yesterday is in the past, today is today, so don't let your yesterday bug your today. Margo is bound for success. After spending her time at Shipley and Penn State chasing championships on the lacrosse field, Margo will hang up her cleats and get down to business. As an entrepreneur, she will turn a side hustle as a professional shopper into a full-fledged multinational service company with offices in New York, New York LA, London, Paris, and Dubai, and a large web-based presence. With humor, gratitude, and bravery as character traits, Margot will live her dream, snowboarding in Utah with her family and summering on the shore. Remembering her time sledding on trays with Mr. W and her dream of going to Alaska, Margot will compete in the Iditarod. She will also find times to successfully prank and scare her brothers. <laughs> Following his breakout role in Beauty and the Beast, Joshua will become a musical theater mainstay at Shipley. With creativity and zest as character strengths, Joshua will graduate from the NYU Film School, where his senior project, A Day in the Life of My Dog, Oki, will win top honors and get over 100,000 views on his YouTube channel. Living his, motto, the path to, <laughs> living his motto, the path to success is determination. Joshua will move to Hollywood and land an apprenticeship at Marvel as an assistant director on their latest movie. Joshua will join the Marvel Universe and go, on, <laughs> and go on to direct a series of blockbuster action and sci-fi movies while regularly hosting special screenings for friends and family at Riley Theatre. When not working, Joshua will spend his time watching old movies with his family and directing his children's musical theatre productions. With Choose Kindness as her motto and Honesty, Kindness, and Empathy as character strengths, it's no surprise Claire will spend her life, life helping others. After spending time in the stage and athletic fields, in the art studio, and on student government, building on her experiences as head of lower school, Claire will head off to college, then UPenn Medical, to become a heart surgeon. Known for her steady hands, quick mind, and reassuring demeanor, Claire will become an ex respected attending physician and surgeon and a popular mentor of interns and residents. Claire will easily surpass her dream of leading 40 surgeries. When not cutting people open, Claire will spend time with family, creating messy art projects with the children, playing with the three dogs, traveling to Paris with friends, and enjoying an occasional nap when no one's looking. <laughs> Yes, there will be another Dr. Jacoby. <laughs> Embracing her motto, keep going, Scarlett, Scarlett will set her sights on UPenn and medical school. Her character strengths of perseverance, less zest, curiosity, and creativity will help Scarlett find success on the long journey to becoming a doctor. Finally, remembering her experience as a book buddy in Mighty Oak, Scarlett will choose pediatrics as her specialty. 
She would go on to build a successful practice here in Bryn Mawr and become the doctor of choice for Shipley families. When not working, Scarlett will pursue her fascination in the ancient Egyptian afterlife, dragging her family on multiple trips to two of the Egyptian pyramids and tombs. She will also enjoy going out to dinner with her friends, playing with her four dogs, coaching her children's sports teams, and directing them in the school musical. With humility, teamwork, hope, and per per perseverance, Izzy will star on Shipley's swimming, volleyball, and field hockey teams, and be offered a full volleyball scholarship to Lehigh University. After making a name for herself at the NCAA championships, Izzy will be recruited to play on the U.S. women's national team, meddling at the 2032 Olympics. After retiring from the court, Izzy will change gears and go to medical school, becoming a pediatrician and opening her own successful practice, dividing her time between Key Largo, Florida and Charlotte, North Carolina. When not working, Izzy will spend time with her family at her stables, taking care of her two pinto horses, coaching her children's various sports teams, and playing with her five golden retrievers and assorted cats. <laughs> Izzy will truly live her motto, don't try and beat other people's goals, try and beat your own goals. With zest and humor as character strengths, Riley is destined to enjoy a life full of joy and excitement. Riley will lead Shipley, fulfilling two dreams, helping the school win a baseball championship and playing lead guitar in a rock band. In college, Riley will befriend the daughter of Leonard Skinner's lead guitarist. And after her father gets COVID and has to quarantine, then an audition and invitation to play with the band. Seeing Riley on stage, another local rock band will invite him to record with them. One of their songs will become the 2033 Summer Anthem, leading to, stadium, leading to stadiums and sold out shows. When not playing with his band, Riley will spend time playing practical jokes on his family, hanging with his dogs and cats, and going to Eagles, Phillies, and 76ers game, games. All the while, living his motto, the more you laugh, the better you feel. Hard to believe, but the oracle hated public speaking as a little oracle, and would have been inspired by Sarah's motto, if you can't beat the fear, do it scared. With creativity, humility, bravery, and humor as character strengths, Sarah will no doubt do it scared and find success. After helping Shipley win two lacrosse championships, Sarah will be recruited by Princeton and help lead their team to the NCAA championships. Leaving a storied playing career behind, Sarah, Sarah will focus on her other passions, law and wild animals. Earning a law degree at Yale, she will become a legal advocate, defending the rights of wildlife and protecting their habitats. Sarah will live her dream, traveling with her family to exotic locales to see wild animals. Remembering fondly her time with Miss L, Sarah will also start a popular sewing club for mothers and daughters. The Oracle sees a life full of sports, family, and service for Claire, as she lives her motto, good things take time. Leading Shipley to titles in swimming and lacrosse, Claire will focus on swimming at Princeton, where she will become an NCAA star and be invited to join the U.S. Women's National Swim Team. After earning a team medal in relays at the 2032 Olympics, Claire will attend medical school and become a pediatrician. With gratitude, forgiveness, love, and creativity as character strengths, Claire will start a successful practice in sunny California, taking care of families and children. When not working, Claire will spend her time traveling to Australia with her family, learning to fly in a plane, coaching her children's lacrosse teams, 
and planning large, pet-friendly family reunions in exotic locales. Honesty, gratitude, love, and creativity as character strengths, the Oracle sees a life full of art, books, animals, and travel for this Shipley student. Happy to leave the lower school because she keeps falling off the playground equipment, <laughs> Carter will discover a talent for sketching and make her way to the Rhode Island School of Design. Upon graduation, she will build a career as a sought-after illustrator for children's books. An avid reader, she will also work as an editor focusing on young adult fiction at one of the big publishing houses. When not illustrating and reading, Carter will spend her time traveling, painting and creating giant art sculptures with her children. Carter and her children will also take care of her five dogs and a rotating group of fostered cats and kittens as she lives her motto, Create Your Own World. Fairness, humility, and love as character strengths, the Oracle sees a bright future for this shipping student. A natural orator who shined in the fourth and fifth grade debates, Mason will lead the upper school debate team to the state championships. After a successful college internship, Mason will land a position at a top interior design firm, where she will go on to lead a highly sought after team designing interior spaces for the flagship stores of top fashion brands. With lots of stylish designer clothes gifted to her through work, Mason would achieve her dream of opening a clothing store full of her own clothing. <laughs> Following her motto, live every day like it's your last, Mason will spend her free time debating and dancing with her children and dogs, and volunteering at Habitat for Humanity, helping to design houses for the homeless. Jack will divide his time between golf and his studies at Shipley, at both North Carolina at Shipley and North Carolina, earning a degree in political science while competing in the NCAA championships. Inspired by the Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, Jack will draw on his experience as a student council representative and turn to politics. After running an insurgent campaign for state representative of women, Jack will be known as an ethical politician who court crosses party lines to get things done. With perseverance, social intelligence, and kindness as character strengths, Jack will find his way to Washington to champion social causes and entrepreneurship as the longest serving senator from Pennsylvania. Jack will also golf in Hawaii with family and watch reruns of the Eagles, Eagles Patriots Super Bowl <laughs> while showing off his prized possession is Zach Ertz signed football. Layla Mackey. With love, honesty, and spirituality as character strengths, Layla is destined to make the world better. Discovering a love for science at Shipley, Layla will earn a doctorate in chemistry based on her groundbreaking doctoral work exploring the spread of viruses in schools. Layla will be offered a tenured teaching position at New York University. Earning a, earning a name for herself as an expert in viral structures, Layla will travel the world looking for new and exotic viruses. Her findings will contribute to the development of multiple medications and therapy, therapies impacting the lives of millions. When not conducting research, Layla will fly gliders, the closest she can get to actually flying, play with her seven cats, and share her ever-expanding collection of teddy bears with her children. Living her motto, stars can't shine without darkness, or, or there's beauty in everything. Carson Murphy. 
Murphy. With honesty, gratitude, forgiveness, and humility as character strengths, Carson will find a way to help others. Leaving Shipley as an artist, star soccer player, and school-wide UNO champion, Carson will head to Columbia, and then Columbia War, Law, where he will pass the bar as his first try. After spending time working as a prosecutor in the district attorney's office, Carson will find his true calling and change sides to become a defense attorney. Embracing his motto, it takes multiple failures and perseverance to finally succeed, Carson will specialize in working with clients who've been wrongly convicted, sticking with them until he wins their freedom. When not working, Carson will spend his time on a small farm raising pigs and dogs with his family. He will also travel to Easter Island, crossing it off his bucket list. Just keep going is Oliver's motto, and that's exactly what he's going to do. After achieving one of his life goals at Shipley, learning to drive, Oliver will keep going to Stanford, then MIT, where he will earn a dual degree in gaming technology and marketing. Landing a job at Nintendo, Oliver will join the marketing research team, fulfilling another life dream, playing video games for a living. With humility, creativity, kindness, and humor as character strengths, Oliver will become a top, top executive of the company, helping to launch a series of wildly successful virtual reality games, and traveling among the various corporate headquarters in London, Sydney, Tokyo, and New York. When not working, Oliver will enjoy his time with his family and dogs and playing competitive games of Find the Gator in their large townhouse. <laughs> Living Winston Churchill's motto, success is not final, failure is not final, it is the courage to continue that counts. Isabella will force the Friends League to start a co-ed varsity baseball team, where she will play first base. After being recruited by a D1 school and playing in the NCAA championships, Isabella will try out for the Phillies. After some bad publicity, the Phillies let her play and her memorable performance, including a diving catch and pick off at the plate, will go viral. Proving she can hold her own, Isabel will join the Phillies front office and quickly work her way up to general manager, where she will champion women in upper level management and coaching. With love, creativity, and a love of learning as character strengths, Isabella will travel with her family to Australia, hike, hike the outback, and help tag and track great white sharks. <laughs> Drawing on her character strengths of gratitude, fairness, perseverance, and her motto, if you, fall back down, if you fall down, get back up again, Juliet will discover a passion for legal matters and government at Chipley. So will be elected school vice president and particularly enjoy chairing the judicial board overseeing student misconduct. <laughs> Juliet will earn a law degree from Columbia and move up the ranks in the New York District Attorney's Office. After a successful career per prosecuting criminals, Juliet will earn a judgeship and be elected to the Court of Appeals, where she will hear challenges to lower court rulings, as well as appeals made by federal agencies. Outside the courtroom, Juliet will travel with her family to a beach house in Hawaii and coach her kids' gymnastic teams. She will also curate her ever-growing beloved collection of classic sneakers. <laughs> After dancing her way through high school, including multiple strong performances at national hip-hop dance competitions, Leah will turn her attention to interior design. Graduating from the Parsons School of Design, 
Liu will join a top international interior design firm and quickly rise up the corporate ladder, creating interiors for celebrities and a select international clientele. Her work will regularly be featured in Architectural Digest. At the request of the class of 2015, Leo will return to Shipley to finally redesign the student lounges. When not working, Leo will continue to dance, much to the embarrassment of her children. Following her motto, when life gives you a hundred reasons to frown, show life 1,000 re reasons to smile, Leo will work with foster children and lead a trip each year with her and her family to swim with dolphins in Florida. Hard work pays off as a model. The Oracle sees basketball sneakers and a seat in the owner's suite for Pierce. After leading Shipley to a basketball championship, Pierce will be recruited by Villanova, where as starting point guard, he will help lead the Wildcats in multiple March Madness runs. Staying local, Pierce will be drafted by the 76ers and find similar success, including being voted five years running to the NBA All-Star Game and making it to the NBA Hall of Fame. Leaving the court, Pierce will move to the front office, rise to become general manager, and eventually join a group of other former players to buy the team. In his free time, Pierce will start his own sneaker label and enjoy the latest version of NBA 2K with his children. Love, social intelligence, teamwork, and kindness, plus a sweet singing voice. Is it any wonder Annie is bound for success? After starring roles in the middle and upper school musicals, Annie will graduate from NYU and land a supporting role in an off Broadway musical. Her standout performance will lead to a starring role in the revival of Wicked, for which she'll win a Tony Award for an actor in a musical. With success in hand, Annie will set her into a life in the theater, embracing her motto. Life is better when you're laughing. When not on stage, Annie will spend her time with her family, reading, skydiving, and making viral TikTok music videos singing with her dad. Finally recording her time as a book buddy, Annie will also start a national theater program for young children, bringing the joy of theater into, the class, into classrooms around the country. Love, bravery, and teamwork as character strengths, Annabelle is bound for success. Following her performance in Beauty and the Beast, Annabelle was star in the middle and upper school musicals. After graduating from the theater program at Belmont University in Nashville, Annabelle will make her way to New York and get her lucky break as an understudy in Hamilton after one of the stars breaks her leg. <laughs> her performance will lead to a major role in Lynn Manuel Miranda's newest stage production and a long career on Broadway. Following her motto, be the change you wish to see in the world, Annabelle will open an acting studio for underprivileged children, where singing, dancing, and life are celebrated. In her free time, Annabelle will take her children bungee jumping, skydiving, and on hot air balloon rides on every continent. With love of learning and perseverance as character strengths, Maya has a bright future ahead. After struggling at Shipley, trying to divide her time between the math wing, makerspace, squash court, and music studio, Maya will attend Stanford, eventually earning a PhD in biomedical engineering. 
She will start our own company designing cutting edge robotic surgical devices and software utilizing AI technology and solar power. As a side hobby, Maya will use the software to compose original pieces for string quartets, which she will play at family gatherings. When not working, Maya will spend time with her family, volunteer at the local animal shelter where she adopts 10 cats, travel to exotic locales to ride hot air balloons and bungee jump, and of course, play squash. As Maya's motto says, follow your heart and create every day. Colin Stein. <laughs> After taking over the makerspace in STEM lab, lab Colin will utilize his character strengths of love of learning, honesty, and gratitude to mentor younger students and fix broken laptops by printing components on a 3D printer. Leaving Shipley, Colin will earn, earn a degree in computer science and join a tech startup specializing in cutting edge drone technology. As one of their top coders, he will help write code allowing anyone with a 3D printer to build a drone that locates their children's lost clothing and delivers their lunch to school when they forget. His software will also be used by Domino's to quickly deliver pineapple and ham pizzas, revolutionizing the fast food industry. When not working, Colin will spend time with his children playing video games, riding on hoverboards, eating pizza, and living his motto, if you are sad, find a way to be glad. Hockey, fast cars, food, and family are in the cards for Jack, whose character strengths include humor, zest, gratitude, and appreciation of excellence. After helping Shipley's new varsity hockey team win the PA State Championship, Jack will be recruited by Penn State, where he will lead the team on a Cinderella run in the NCAA Championships. Drafted by the Flyers, Jack will find continued success as a beloved teammate and team captain with his inspirational motto, don't think a glass is half empty or half full. Think that it is about to get a refill. <laughs> Post it on the locker room entrance. Leaving the ice, Jack will join the front office and work his way up to general manager. Outside work, Jack will divide his time between racing cars on the amateur circuit, developing his culinary skills at his own restaurant, and taking long vacations with his family. Following his motto, Believe in Yourself, Leo will star on Shipley's championship baseball team, then lead the powerhouse North Carolina Tar Heels to an NCAA championship. Drafted by the Phillies, Leo will reunite with his friend RJ to help lead the Phillies to on multiple championship runs. With honesty, zest, creativity, and humorous character strengths, Leo will become team captain and fan favorite. After, after a storied career, Leo will achieve one of his dreams when he's voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame on his first year of eligibility. <laughs> Off the field, Leo will help design and promote a best-selling virtual reality baseball game. He will spend his off-seasons as an amateur storm chaser and enter an ice cream eating <laughs> contest where he will be noticed by Ben and Jerry's who will name an ice cream flavor after him, impressing his children and family. The Oracle predicts a bright and passionate future for this Shipley student. Utilizing her character strengths of gratitude, teamwork, and humility and humor, Jada will star on Shipley's basketball team. Recruited by UCLA, Jada will start as a freshman, be voted team captain her sophomore year, and help lead the team on a dream run during March Madness, becoming the Cinderella team of the tournament. While in college, Jada will also rediscover acting, remembering her time at Shipley, and then a reoccurring role in a sitcom depicting the life of a group of post-college friends. 
After coaching her daughter's basketball teams, Jada would start a basketball clinic, teaching young girls life skills on and off the court, all the while embracing her two, model, her two mottos, be the change you wish to see in the world, and no one's perfect, that's why pencils have erasers. <laughs> With love, gratitude, gratitude, perseverance, and forgiveness as character strengths, is it any wonder Haley will spend her time taking care of others? Fondly remembering book buddies, Haley will continue to work with young children, eventually joining Teach for America. After three dedicated years teaching, Haley will turn her attention to her other love, dogs. Returning to school, Haley will become a vet in open home practice in Key Largo, Florida. Although focused on dogs, she will also enjoy caring for parrots, boas, parrots, and an occasional alligator. When not working, Haley will ski in Utah in the winter, surf in Hawaii in the summer, volunteer with her children at the local animal shelter, and foster stray dogs. As her motto states, if you don't risk it, you will never know it. Forget the mistakes and remember the lesson. Xavier Yang. The Oracle sees screaming fans, hard hits, and goes in Xavier's future. Xavier will lead Shipley to consecutive Friends League championships and be recruited by a D1 school. Renowned for his motto, you will never walk alone, Xavier will be elected team captain and lead his team on multiple NCAA championships runs. Invited to join the U.S. men's national soccer team, Xavier will score multiple goals at the 2034 World Cup and become a fan favorite as the U.S. makes an unexpected run at the title. This will lead to a dream offer to play in the Premier League with Liverpool, where his character strengths of creativity, zest, and perseverance ensure his success. Off the field, Xavier will spend time with his family playing competitive video games, coaching his children's various sports teams, and attending boisterous family reunions. And last but not least, Cora Zadnik. With bravery, judgment, and perspective as character strengths, Cora will take her love of horseback riding to new heights. While attending Penn State, Cora will spend her holidays training and competing competitively on the jumping circuit, including as a hometown favorite at the Devon Horse Show. Her success will lead to an invitation to join the U.S. equestrian team, where she will medal in the 2032 Olympics. Retiring from competition, Cora will open her own stables and start a program introducing horseback riding to children with special needs. When not at the stables, Cora will spend her time with her family traveling, caring for their four dogs and eight hermit crabs, and summering at the shore. Cora will also fulfill her dream of safely walking alone through a forest in the rain. As she lives her motto, no rain, no flowers, never give up. <laughs> Can we have a round of applause for all of our participants? My name is Sabora Posner, for those who don't know me, and I'm here to give thanks. So on behalf of the Shipley community, we would like to thank the following people. Uh, Christine Lobley for the video of Fifth Grade Memories, Ann Vasquez for her work on the Fifth Grade Yearbook, Lauren Steins who helped with the photo collection for the memory book and video, 
We'd also like to thank the fifth grade coordinator team, our grade level coordinators, Ann Vasquez and Julianne Viscardo, as well as our homeroom coordinators, DJ Srinivasan, Melissa Zadnik, and Brooke Jackson. And before we play the video, I would like to thank all of you fifth graders. As you know, you are my very first fifth grade class here at Shipley. You were very shy in the beginning. My office, we shared a hallway. And then over time, with candy and talks, <laughs> you came by a lot more. Um, the two things I wanted to leave you with, actually, it's one of them is Haley's motto, which is, mistakes do not define you. Uh, many of you, we've had conversations, and the most important thing in making the mistake is what you learn from that mistake, right? And how you lead your life after having made the mistake. And the last thing I'd like to say is when in doubt, choose kindness, right? And be kinder than necessary because everyone's always going through something. So I will miss you all. Please come visit us. We're not too far away. And here's the video. Um, before we end, I do want to give a couple more thanks. Uh, one, we wouldn't have had a fifth grade without the amazing team. Miss Lee, Miss Siebert Hall, Mr. Kelly, and also Miss Stover. Can you give them a round of applause? I also want to thank all of you parents and family in the audience for entrusting us with your kids and for joining us on their educational journey and partnering with us. Thank you. Can we give them a round of applause? And finally, I want to thank our fifth graders here for all the joy you brought to the lower school and the joy that you brought to our lives. Thank you. Can we give them one last round of applause? Okay, the best part is you made it through the ceremony. It wasn't too bad, right? And we ended early. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, fifth graders, you can now go and see your family. Thank you.